हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अमरनाथ वेलकम टू न्यू मेंटर्स आई एस अकेडमी इन दिस सेशन वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द गोल्स ऑफ न्यू पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वेर यू कैन यूज दिस टॉपिक नॉट ओनली इन पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन बट ऑल्सो इन एथिक्स पेपर बट ऑल्सो इन एथिक्स पेपर वेर यू कैन यूज दिस टॉपिक इन right the values in public services the values in civil services right the ethical concerns of uh, public administrators so wherever you find the word of ethics values and morals of public administration simply you can use all these goals you can use the goals of new public administration so one is in gs paper 4 along with gs paper 4 you can also use this in the topics of bureaucracy and development All right the role of civil servants the role of bureaucracy in bringing development the you can also use this in the goals of development so there is no much difference between the goals of development as well as the uh, new public administration the only difference is all right one has emerged in america if you take npa npa has emerged in the backdrop of america whereas development administration it has emerged right in the backdrop of third world countries that is it is after the emergence of third world countries and because of the compared to public administration group right we see uh, the concept of development administration getting emerged right this is the only difference but uh, coming to the uh, goals it is same it is almost all similar right so you can use this both in what you call ethics paper as well as in the topic of bureaucracy and development administration right so what are the goals of new public administration remember right if you take the goals of npa right frank marini frank marini dwight waldo uh, f a negro right so these are some of the individuals these are some of the scholars of public administration who has given the goals of new public administration right so in this session we will we will try to analyze these goals right so according to frank marini according to frank marini right the uh, the new public administration the new public administration has five major goals they are relevance values social equity change and citizen orientation or client orientation right so what do you mean by relevance so it is simply about relevance of relevance of both the theory of public administration so remember whenever we talk about npa whenever we talk about npa it is not just about the theory of npa but even it is about practice of npa so we talk about both the theory and practice we talk about both theory and practice of new public administration we talk about both theory and practice of new public administration all right so if you take this uh new public administration so new public administration has given a call for relevance so relevance of theory of public administration to the contemporary problems of society right so that is public administration should always take note of it should always take note of the existing concerns the existing challenges that the society is facing right so if you take this npa we know that npa has emerged in 1968 so after first minobrook conference after first minobrook conference this uh, what you call uh, right so this uh, new uh, discourse has come out within public administration so if you take this uh, 1968 so by 1968 america was facing america fa was facing its own challenges so there were contemporary challenges for american society so now the scholars of uh, uh, npa that is the people like dwight waldo the uh, scholars of uh, the other scholars they wanted public administration to be relevant to the contemporary problems say for example unemployment the unrest the uh, uh, racial discrimination right the increased uh, population the economic slowdown providing of basic services to the people providing of what you call uh, promoting of equity 
all right so public administration should be relevant to this uh, uh, to these issues but if you take in reality all right the traditionally that is traditional public administration so i always use the word tpa which represents traditional public administration so traditional public administration was more obsessed with the goals of efficiency and economy it is obsessed with principles it wanted to become more scientific and in this process it has lost its publicness it has lost focus on society public administrators public administration has lost of what society wants they lost focus on what society wants so this was the what you call a major loophole in the traditional public administration all right so that is the reason why right the scholars of new public administration particularly frank marini has given a call for relevance right relevance means it is responsiveness towards the uh, concerns of the society all right values another major important thing is values so if you take traditional public administration right from the beginning all right public administration is always seen as a value neutral one it is just seen as a value neutral so no importance is given to the preferred outcomes no importance is given to preferred outcomes so when we talk about values so values are nothing but all right remember the meaning of values values means a preferred outcomes all right predefined outcomes all right a predefined goals all right so traditional public administration so right from the beginning that is right from the times of wilson all right focus was made focus was on making public administration more a value neutral discipline just by focusing on means just by focusing on instrumentality of actions all right because of which the public administration has lost its values now the scholars of public administrations the uh, what you call the young generation scholars right the proponents of npa they were totally critical about this value neutrality in public administration they were critical about the value neutralness within public administration so this new public administration has gave a plea for greater concerns for values values such as freedom equality justice humanness right everything npa npa has given much importance npa ha npa has increased aware, uh, it has increased awareness ab about the normative concerns of public administration so definitely so npa is npa is more normative in nature it is both normative as well as empirical right so it has increased the val uh, the, the concerns for values right it has become it has made public administration both normative as well as active all right so according to nicolas henry according to nicolas henry right the question that npa has raised is about values and ethics if there is anything which is overriding tone in npa it is its moral tone right so npa is more ethical and moral when compared to traditional public administration all right so the moral tone the moralness has become a dominating tone within new public administration if there is anything that is dominating in npa it is its moral tone right so npa has essentially dealt with npa has essentially dealt with the ethics and values the ethics and values all right in public service delivery so public administrators who are meant to provide basic services all right they should be guided according to npa they should be guided by the ethical principles the moral principles humanness all right so this is the major goal this is the major goal of public administration all right so another major goal as given by frank marini is social equity all right so as i said earlier all right there was a racial discrimination there is what you call inequalities in american societies right the poverty among the black americans was more right black americans were denied 
the opportunities in every area where it is employment or education right so because of this right there was an unrest there was a civil rights movement organized right so npa npa call has given a call for right bringing this social equality uh, equity now how equity can be promoted by promoting distributive justice right so it is through distributive justice so the minabrook conference has given a plea for distributive justice and promote equality right so according to george fredrickson so he has given he has articulated all right he has given the futures of what you call a uh, new public administration so according to george fredrickson a public administration that fails to work for change to redress the deprivation of minorities will likely to be eventually will repress minorities right so in quotes i actually i forgot to give the quote it is in quotes so according to according to george fredrickson public administration which fails to work for change right which fails to redress the deprivation of minorities will likely eventually will repress the minorities a very simple meaning right simply a public administration that fails to bring a change that fails to redress deprivation will act as an institution it will act as an institution to suppress the minorities an institution that is required to protect minorities that is here in this context it is the black americans so again don't take another meaning right so it is about the black americans right so because they were facing the racial discrimination there right an institution that is required to protect the interest of this uh, uh, minorities right if it fails to redress their depression deprivation if that institution fails to redress the deprivation of that minorities right cannot to protect the minorities so this is what the intention of george fredrickson right so that means public administration right should be proactive right so the npa protagonists right the protagonists of npa they were in favor of making public administration more proactive towards the pressing social issues the challenging social issues like inequality inequality is one of the uh, what do you call a um, uh, major challenge a social challenge all right so this is one goal this is one goal given by the scholars of new public administration that is frank marini change oriented so new public administration always calls always calls for a social change so bringing about a social change all right so if we take traditional public administration traditional public administration is more uh, more it is a status quo oriented it is just a status quo oriented that is it is just an institution traditional public administration is just an institution to maintain the existing system it can only maintain the existing system but cannot infuse but cannot bring any kind of change it cannot bring any kind of change but what is the role of public administration what is the essence of public administration the purpose the significance of public administration lies in bringing social change according to brook adams according to brook adams public administration is seen as important human faculty that brings that cushions a social change and revolution so public administration is an important human faculty it is an institution that is meant to bring about it is an institution to bring about a change a social change in the society so change by using different strategies by using different interventions so the duty the role of public administrators is to design a best intervention a best strategy which can be employed which can be employed to bring about a change right so this is one goal participation right so a participative bureaucracy so right social change can be brought so here uh, though i am using it as a separate uh, goal but in fact it is a part of change right so social change can be brought social change can be brought 
only through policy interventions that is making designing a best policies designing the right way of implementing it so allowing the people to participate both in uh, in, in uh, policy formulation as well as in implementation so new public administration the scholars of new public administration they aim at they aim at promoting people participation they wanted bureaucracy they wanted bureaucracy to be right uh, to provide a platform bureaucracy to allow and encourage people participation within the uh, uh, within the policy cycle all right so bureaucracy along with the people bureaucracy along with the citizenry should bring about social change social change cannot be brought by administrators alone it requires it requires a people's participation so, right the last goal that is client orientation right so traditionally if you take if you take the older public administration or the traditional public administration so traditional public administration is essentially an institution oriented it is it is an institution oriented it is a structure oriented that is to say the traditional theory of public administration the traditional theory of public administration it is mainly co uh, concerned itself with the structure the rules the division of work the hierarchy bring out the best principles so never importance was given to the beneficiary never importance was given to the public that is what uh, we say that publicness in public administration has virtually lost if we take the second stage in the evolution of public administration we have one line right so there is one comment that publicness in public administration has been virtually lost it is true because importance was given to principles importance was given to the the uh, as i said structures no importance was given to uh, what you call a uh, people right people were never given importance no focus was given to identify the beneficiary to identify the public so new public administration new public administration gave a call for it gave a call for what do you call it gave a call for say uh, 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 promoting what do you call citizen involvement citizen oriented people oriented but not institution or structure oriented so these are the five major goals right so it is these goals it is these goals right which has made right public administration right more proactive more proactive and humanistic right it has restored values np has restored the normative concerns the values right within public administration all right so this is the contribution so these goals these goals have enriched the theory of public administration these goals have enriched the theory of public administration so this is about so this is about what you call goals of npa for now let's stop the class here right we'll meet in next session